hey guys welcome back to my channel today we are styling our natural hair i have this three and one half wig from her given hair this is just me showing you guys the packaging i have the burmese curly hair which is like a 3a 3b texture my wig is 18 inches long and it is roughly 170 grams so this is everything you get in the box this is the wig fresh out the package no pre-washing or anything it has a bunch of combs so it's nice and snug on your hair so the style I'm doing today is actually a style I did years ago I'm just gonna recreate a style that I recreated so let's get into it so while I am parting my hair which might I add is a, a, a difficult part okay these clips are cut down because it took me so long to make sure my part was straight make sure my parts were even it's just a lot of work girl so anywho um i love doing these styles i didn't realize how much i love half wigs until i got a half wig again because i haven't had like a half wig in so long and i'm talking about like one that i didn't make it's probably hands down the best protective style or wig that you can really put on because you're not putting any hardly any tension on your hair there's no lace there's no glue there's no none of that and i don't use glue anyway but it's hot it's been 95 degrees and up so i don't even know how <laughs> i don't know how we doing none of this but we're gonna make it work so i'm glad i opted for a shorter length like overall without filming doing a style like this should take you no more than 30 minutes because you got to do all the parting and stuff. But you don't even have to do all the parting and stuff. You can do any style that you want. You don't even have to have leave out. You can put the half wig on and put a hairband on or something. Put a hat on. It doesn't matter. Because you don't you don't have to do much. But here I am. Doing the most because it's cute. And I want you to see how versatile all these wigs are. So I pre-parted all of the sections out and they're still not my favorite. Um, I don't know why it's so hard to make a triangle, y'all. I was so confused, but I'm going to get the hang of it because the last time I did this video, I said I was going to get the hang of it and I didn't get the hang of it because I never did it again. And now I'm doing it again and I ain't even practiced. So for what it is, it's really cute. And I'm also doing this on straightened hair. When I originally did it, I was just doing it on blown out hair. And I feel like I had way more hair back then. So I wanted the sections to be a little smaller this time. Just smaller. Smaller and kind of thinner. So that's the look we're going for. Because I didn't want huge like bantu knots. Because that's what we are doing. Tell me, is you with it, you bitch? You bitch. Home invasion, what the place is? What the place is? What the place is? From 9 to 5, I know it's bacon, you bitch. I sped through those clips because it's kind of self-explanatory. But since this is a curly unit, I'm just putting my hair in a ponytail and pinning it up. And then I'm going to put a 
stocking cap on top of that. Of course, a braid down will be ideal, but y'all know I cannot braid, so we have to make do with what we can do. So. And here's the star of the show, freshly washed and air dried. This half wig does fit nice and secure. There are like four or five combs and it also comes with a drawstring and adjustable straps. And I love that because sometimes the one size fits all just doesn't work. I need a little extra and I feel like my head is small. <laughs> so I love when I can make these wigs a little extra tighter. So all I'm doing is positioning the combs in. And when I tell you as soon as you put it on, it looks like the hair is coming out your scalp. It looked like you did a flip over, but you didn't because it's it's made like that. So I'm just showing you how I tighten the jawstring. And I'm just fluffing the hair out. Like look how together the style came together. Um, without the wig on, it just looks regular. Like what else was I going to do? And now with the wig on, it's complete. It looks like, I don't know what it looks like, but it looks good. So <laughs> I'm also doing a lot of fluffing because the curls work lumped together. That's how I like to do curly hair. I had used one of those off-brand dimming brushes, which I love on curly hair. It just makes the curls clump together and they just look so unified and divided. Unified and divided. They can't be both. They look unified and together. So this is what it looks like. The hair is in a natural color. My hair is normally jet black, but the color is faded off. So all of these wigs are matching my natural hair color beautifully. But anywho, I love this. Here I am doing like a whole little uh 180. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll be sure to list all of her giving hairs information in the description box as well as the direct link to this oh so cute unit that I'm wearing and I'll see y'all in my next one.